practical and natural solution. So in today's video, we will explore the world of homeopathy and its potential homeopathic medicines for addressing common pregnancy-related complaints. So if you or someone you know is expecting so this video is definitely for you so watch this video till end for more knowledge and stay connected with us for more informative videos like this now let's talk about the pregnancy and its related complications or you can say complaints so as we all know that pregnancy is the most joyous but also trying time for mother to be she is not only carrying a child but also with it several dreams and hopes Pregnancy, however, brings its fair share of medical complications and bodily changes. And though homeopathic medicines are completely safe with zero side effect, so extra caution is required on which homeopathic medicine to give an expectant mother. You have to be cautious about the doses, potency, potency and the repetition of homeopathic medicines for the pregnancy-related complaints. In fact, for pregnancy-related complaints, homeopathic medicines are not selected on the base of single symptom but are always ruled out after taking proper case taking. Homeopathic medicines would also not be taken haphazardly to cure pregnancy related complaints. Okay, now next we'll talk about the top homeopathic medicines for pregnancy related complaints. So let's talk about it. So homeopathic medicines for violent movements of the fetus. Let's talk about it. The homeopathic medicines that are of help for dealing with the violent movements for fetus in the womb are Lycopodium, Crocus sativus, and Thusa. Which of these homeopathic medicines you should take is prescribed only after taking into account of pregnant women's case history. Second complication or complaint. So homeopathic medicine for the abnormal position of the fetus in the womb. So homeopathy can even help in correcting the position of the fetus placed abnormally in the uterus of the pregnant women, but the result vary from one woman to another. So homeopathic medicines that are considered for such a situation include pulsatilla, arnica, sepia, and aconite. Next, homeopathic medicines for the diabetes mellitus, hypertension, eclampsia, and thyroid troubles during pregnancy. So there are various effective homeopathic medicines for dealing with these medical conditions during pregnancy, but they are not specific for all the women suffering from the same complaint. The appropriate homeopathic medicine is selected on an individual basis after taking case into an account. The detailed case history, in fact. So for dealing with diabetes, photophyllum, gingham mat are the beneficial homeopathic medicines. And to tackle hypertension and eclampsia, Homeopathic medicines like Ignitia, Balladona, Nux vomica are of great help. And for the treatment of thyroid troubles in pregnancy, Calcarea iode and Hydrastis are very effective homeopathic medicines. But again, these homeopathic medicines are selected and prescribed after noting down the detailed case history of a pregnant lady. So don't take them by yourself. Okay. Always consult a qualified homeopathic physician in person or you can contact me. The next complaint, homeopathic medicines for fever development of the fetus. So if the development of the fetus is not progressing in a usual or expected way, or it is at a slow pace, it should trigger an alarm. So homeopathic medicines can be of help depending, can be of great help depending upon individual case. So sickle core is a homeopathic medicine that can be considered if the fetus growth is arrested. And if the motion of the fetus is decreased or stopped suddenly, then homeopathic medicine colophyllum may help. Next, homeopathic medicine for anemia during pregnancy. So we have a very wonderful homeopathic medicine for anemia during pregnancy that is ferrum force. So ferrum force is a very safe and efficient natural homeopathic medicine for supplementing the iron requirement during requirement during pregnancy. So homeopathic medicine ferrum force has a zero side effect and it is easily absorb, absorbable. It helped meet the iron requirement during pregnancy without diarrhea, constipation, and other gastric troubles. Next complaint. Homeopathic medicines for cramps in the carbs during pregnancy. So Magfos is the top homeopathic medicine for relieving the cramps in the calf muscles of a pregnant lady. When the legs and cramps feel warm and there is a pressure while walking, so magnesium force provide a relief. And when the legs and the feet remain cold, with cramps in the calf region, homeopathic medicine sepia can bring, can brings relief. Now next, homeopathic medicine for urinary bladder disturbances during pregnancy. So equisetum is a very good homeopathic medicine for the urinary troubles during pregnancy. This medicine is used when the women feel a constant desire to pass urine. There is accompanied 
This is accompanied by the pain in the bladder. The urine is passed in a large quantity, but the frequency of the urine is maintained. So homopathic medicine, stiffy segria, is recommended when the woman feels her bladder has not completely emptied, even after passing urine. And homopathic medicine, thusa, is also beneficial if the expectant mother feels her bladder has not emptied in one go. She has to go to the toilet to pass urine five or more times to empty the bladder. Then you can use thusa occidentalis. Now next, homopathic medicines for cough during pregnancy. So homopathic medicine, Brynia alba, is usually recommended for dry cough during pregnancy. The cough can be accompanied with difficulty in respiration and pain in the chest. An increased thirst for the large quantity of water may also be felt. And next medicine we have is epicac. So epicac is the homopathic medicine for loose cough during pregnancy. During loose cough, the mucus rattles in the chest. The spitting out of the mucus brings relief. Next medicine is belladonna. So belladonna is a homopathic medicine when a pregnant woman cough with pain in the throat. The throat is dry and very sore. Next, homopathic medicines to tackle vaginal bleeding during pregnancy. This is a this is the most alarming sign during pregnancy that is vaginal bleeding during pregnancy. So let's talk about it. So vaginal bleeding during pregnancy is an alarming sign indicating abortion. So even a slight bleeding from the vagina during pregnancy should not be neglected and medical advice should always be shot off. So to select a homopathic, suitable homopathic medicine to control vaginal bleeding during pregnancy, so various factors including mental and physical conditions are taken into account. A few causative factors that are to be noted include any kind of anger outburst, listening to any bad news, exertion, fright, grief, trauma or injury or lifting any heavy weight. The month of the pregnancy in which the bleeding has appeared is also a significant feature to be noted and also any history of the abortion is sought to rule out if the woman has a tendency to go in for an abortion. So homopathic medicines for halting the bleeding include China, Savina, Arnica and Epicac. The appropriate medicine is prescribed only after taking proper case taking and case history into account. Next, homopathic medicines for varicose vein during pregnancy. So, homopathic medicines like Arnica and Hemamelis are very effective herbal medicines for pregnancy related complaints. Homopathic medicine Arnica is very good cure. For good cure for varicose pain occurring during pregnancy. And arnica can be used when sore or bruised pain are felt in the legs with varicose pain. Next is hemomelis. So homopathic medicine hemomelis is also a very beneficial homopathic medicine for varicose pain during pregnancy. And it can be used when tiredness and soreness are felt in the legs with varicose pain. Now next complaint related to pregnancy. So homopathic medicines for backache during pregnancy. So both Asculus and Kelly Carve are natural homopathic medicines that are of great help for the treatment of backache during pregnancy. So for using Asculus, the main complaint is pain in the lower back, in sacrum and the hips. The pain, are more sens the pain is more severe while walking. The back is very weak and stooping may also worsen the backache. Homopathic medicine Kelly Carve should be taken for backache during pregnancy when stiffness accompanies backache. Excessive weakness of the back may also be felt and the pain from the back may extend down to the thighs. The next complaint we have is dyspepsia. So homopathic medicines for indigestion or you can say dyspepsia during pregnancy. So we have Nux vomica and Calcarea carb. So Nux vomica is mainly prescribed when a bloating abdomen follows eating. There is a pressure and heaviness in the stomach. And mother to be also complains of a gas in the stomach with nausea and burning in the stomach. Constipation may also be experienced. Next, next is calcarea carb. So homopathic medicine calcarea carb should be taken when sour belching, sour vomiting and acidity are experienced. The order of the stool is sour smelling. The next ailment is constipation. So homopathic medicines for constipation during pregnancy. So we have Brainia alba, alumina and Nux vomica. Let's talk about them. Characteristic symptom for using Brynia alba is constipation with difficulty and dry, hard stool or poop, you can say. And the, to use alumina for constipation during pregnancy, the prominent guiding symptom is absence of the urge to pass stool for many days. Stool remains in the rectum for several days together. And when the stool has to be passed, much strain is required, even if the stool is soft. And in contrast to alumina, homopathic medicine Nux vomica is used when the urge to pass the stool is 
Stool is very frequent or almost almost constant, but only a little stool is passed in very in every effort. And stool is insufficient, unsatisfactory, and after passing and after passing stool, the urge is renewed immediately. The next complication of pregnancy is piles, that is hemorrhoids. So homopathic medicines for piles during pregnancy, we have esculus and collinsonia. So esculus is a natural homopathic medicine for pregnancy-related complaints and is indicated when women complain of sharp shooting pain in the rectum with burning. It seems as if small sticks are filled up with filled up the rectum, causing severe pain. Next, we have is collinsonia. So it is an ideal homopathic medicine when constipation of the utmost severity accompanies a piles problem during pregnancy. Pain in the rectum and itching of the anus are mostly experienced. Now, next complication of pregnancy we have is morning sickness. So, homopathic medicine for morning sickness during pregnancy we have we have is nux vomica, sepia, and epicac. So, nux vomica can be used when the nausea and vomiting are worse in the morning, and such women may also suffer from acidity and constipation. And homopathic medicine sepia is suited for those women who have extreme nausea even on smelling or looking at food. Vomiting occurs after eating, craving for the pickles. And next, epicac. Epicac is one of the best homopathic medicine for pregnancy, nausea, and vomiting, which is persistent throughout the day. The tongue usually remains clean in the mother to be requiring epicac. So these are the various homopathic medicines which has been successfully used for the treatment of pregnancy-related complaints. So that's all. In conclusion, I want to say that homeopathy offers a gentle and natural approach to address common pregnancy-related complaints. So if you find this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for more insight into the world of homeopathy and natural healing. And thank you so much for joining me on this journey of exploring homeopathic medicines for the beautiful phase of pregnancy. So see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy. And yes, if you are suffering from any of the health, is health issues or pregnancy-related complaints, you can contact me. Now on the screen, you can see how to contact us for online appointments. So that's it for now. And thanks for watching this video.